There we go. Much better. Let's try that again. <laughs> I kn you could probably see from the closed captioning here that I've got, I was talking about uh, how rough around the edges it was going to be because this is the first time I'm streaming with OBS since reinstalling my operating system. And uh, that's about as fast of a prophecy coming to pass as I can imagine. Uh, you sound a little echoey. How can I sound echoey if my microphone is off? What does this mean? I don't understand. Uh, let me turn the music on for this wonderful game. Like I need noise suppression on my microphone, perhaps? Something like this. Is that better? Oh, wait, no, god, I am probably using the webcam microphone. Wow, this is really rough around the edges. We'll be right back. Uh, audio. Now surely that must be better. That has to sound better. I hope. Much better. Cool, rough around the edges. But we're here now, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so this past week I installed my operating system again on an M2 drive instead of an SSD and it's blazing fast and I have more than 60 gigs of uh, space on the operating system drive, which is nice. When I uh, built my first PC eight, ten years ago. 60 gigs of SSD for a uh, operating system was cutting edge. But uh, now they don't even make them that small anymore. The USB thumbstick I got to make a boot drive for the new operating system is bigger than the hard drive I was moving off of. So that's fun. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, the reason we're gathered here tonight, this meeting of the Midnight Society, is to talk about and play Sunshine Heavy Industries, the shipbuilding game. Just entered 1.0 this past week. I think it launched on Tuesday. I've done two earlier streams that were uh, when it was in early access, and I think I'm about halfway through the game thus far. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get back into it. When last we played, I think the lore was that my shipbuilding hangar got seized by pirates that I made a ship for, and they were like, oh yeah, thanks. We'll be taking everything now. And so we got jettisoned into space, and I believe our good friend Ren the Trucker came and picked us up before we, uh, you know, met our untimely fates. So, yeah. Uh, I have no real idea of which one of these I should do, so I'm going to just do them in order. It's a rat. Rat. Is that a rat? It, it said right there, Celine. It said that they were a rat, so I think so. You're just a rat. Yeah. They have a, is that a saw? Are they going to help me? These are good sprites. I like these emotions. Oh, it's a potato peeler. What is this? I like the little rat sprite down here. He's kind of obscured by my uh, border. But they're cute. What am I even doing here? Scrap. Okay, so I'm just supposed to delete this, I assume. No? I can't delete the scrap? Uh-oh. Uh... Okay, so it doesn't let me delete the scrap. That's interesting. I assumed that, that was the first order of business. We've got propellers. Oh, they have lock icons on them, right? It means I can't move them? Okay. I think I understand now. That's what the little icon means. Uh, okay. That's, that's well and good. So we need fuel. The key to any good spaceship is fuel. Uh, for those who have not seen this game before, it's like a puzzle game and a shipbuilding game all in one. Which is fun. 
there's like not really a correct way to accomplish the challenge. You just kind of need to meet these criteria on the side here. And there's like a way to do it for the least amount of overhead, but less than perfect will do. fuel tanks. Very good, very good. All parts must be connected to the ship. Okay, so I gotta get all these pieces of scrap actually tethered to something. That's a new That's a new requirement that was not around last time I played. Uh, I think this whole mission is new. I don't remember this being on the itinerary last time either. That's fine. Uh, passengers. We need to fit ten of them, so we can do that. And that. That's eight, and then we need two. Let's do one by one, one by one. Tethers down some more of the scrap. Hey, it's Fragile Puppy, hello. And also, John Daguerre is in the chat. Nice to meet y'all. Uh, John is one of the devs of this game. I believe they did, like, the, uh, what's the, what's the phrase? Like, story, so to speak. They, I think they designed the puzzles. And then there was Daisy Owl, who did, I believe, the art and actual programming, though correct me if I'm wrong. And there's a fellow named Aaron, who did the lovely music that we'll be treated to tonight. I believe that's the correct lore. Yell at me if I'm wrong. But be nice about it. Cargo, 10. But you don't have to be that nice. Um, two by two. changes things. Because the ride cargo can't be touching the... Uh, how far does it need to be from? Radiation range of three. Uh-oh. Uh, I mean, this is all rat cargo. You're, in, you're not wrong. Uh, that's a problem. That throws my whole thing into disarray. That's, I think, the central... Uh, loop that I keep encountering in this game is I'll be like, ah, I'm a genius. And then I realize the last requirement completely th throws my entire uh, rest of my operation into disarray. Which I think is good. Generally speaking. Passengers. Just outside radiation range. How can I... Can I move this more? No, it doesn't accomplish anything. Um, one by one. I guess these will need to be elsewhere. Nice in radiation range, that's no fun. So let's move this... That's in radiation range, that's no fun. Passengers don't like being radioactive, huh? That's weird. Uh, thought that's part of like the thrill of space travel. Uh, bunk to go. To like live adventurously or something. All right, now we can go back to cargo one by one. I also like that these rats are very attached to all their scrap and like they won't let me salvage it or toss it in the garbage. Their scrap, damn it. Two by two. Wait. 
Wait. I can't read. Uh, okay. So the requirement clearly says I need more than three. More than or equal to three of these rad cargo things. And I was like, one. Got it. Understood. Let's try this whole thing again. Because this whole operation is going to need to change dramatically. I'm going to fit three of these bad boys in here with passengers. Uh, let's start from the beginning. We need three of these things. So the best course of action would be to get them as close together as possible because we want to lose as little area as possible for this ship. Uh, so like that'll do. Um, now we need normal cargo, which can go next to the rad cargo because it's okay if you've got eggs in one of these baskets that's next to the nuclear wa uh, waste or whatever, like portable drinking water. As long as people aren't next to it, you're probably fine. Uh, we can do it two by two. And that accomplishes our cargo task. Uh, and then we need fuel. We need 22 fuel. So we can do this, this, If I can fit uh, all the passengers I need, but we'll try our best, damn it. Passengers. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I don't think that fits. Ah, it's radioactive. Damn. Close. That's rough. That's rough. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So clearly the solution is I need to waste less space with this giant fuel tank. I think. I think? But how? Uh, let's... Think. I move this down and back. I can move this down and back. Then I can go and use smaller cargo, one by ones, like such. And I just need uh, two more. Nope, two by one is what I'm looking for. Radioactive still. But. parts must be connected to each other. Okay. Oh. I guess we've done it. We got the junk in the trunk, but it's just far enough away. That's fun. Are the 2 by ones any cheaper than that? No, they're exactly twice as expensive. Okay, so that's fine that I used a bunch of one by ones And we've done it. We've created our first spaceship. It's kind of full of holes, but I guess that's like the Swiss cheese charm that a rat would want, I think. We'll go with that. Uh, export a gift for good measure. Yeah, that's fine. This ship is called Junk Heap, apparently. Yeah. Now is the rat going to pay up? Oh, they have a sword and a knife. Cool. Get out of here, you little weirdo. Not make any more rat ships in the future. Words to live by. When you say nobody's caught the cheese, do you mean actual cheese? Or do you mean like a cheesy strategy? I'm kind of curious now. Because I totally missed whatever it was. Alright, next up is Blub Blub here. Is this one of them axolotls from Minecraft? 
Okay, so first we dealt with a rat who didn't speak, and now we deal with Blub Blub who also doesn't speak. This is challenging. Alright. Oh, I guess that makes sense. I didn't know you could build on the outside of this crap. It's not intuitive. But you're right, you could just put everything on the outside. And that would afford you all the space you need to keep away from the radomes. Okay, so let's see. What's the what's the most difficult thing here? Let's not do what I did last time. Let's actually figure out what's difficult to accommodate in this particular setup. Uh, we need... This is lots of cockpits, but it looks like I just need more than one. Like, just just one cockpit? That doesn't seem too bad. And damn, that's the perfect ship, because that knocks out four requirements in one go. All this other stuff is just going to make it more difficult. Uh, that doesn't seem like that many cockpits. Uh, okay, fuel... fuel... Should be one of these. Oh wait, command is. Never mind. Yes, that's a lot of cockpits. Yes. Okay. They need 48 of them. Okay. But these can be used as armor, right? So the right thing to do is this. actually too many, but that's fine. They need firepower. Weep on. Uh, oh, that's interesting. This thing is going to look like a butterfly, I think. Or, I don't know what this is going to look like. So, we need a engine. We're going to need 16, so that's 8 and 8. Uh, then we can go for heat sinks. I liked uh, last time I played, there was like some heat rail that was just like a completely vertical heat sink. That was cool. I liked that. Why am I not seeing heat management? There we go. I don't think I have the heat rail this time. Because I think that was in the daily. So I didn't I didn't actually have it bought. They need power? Everybody's so needy. Um, okay. Passengers. Okay, and energy. Uh. That's a pain. But I am over on command, so maybe I can do that. And then I can do command. This is one by two. Like that. And then we'll need this one. Passengers are gonna fit just two. So, that's technically a ship, I suppose. There's some empty space in the inside, but that's just the handle. Kind of the grip, if you will. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's probably good. I think that's fine. Good job, Blood Blood. Enjoy. Nice. I'll say this every time, but one of my favorite aspects 
of this game and it's uh ui is that every ship you build appears in the background like this really tall one over here is one that i think used that heat rail that i was talking about i made it extremely vertical because uh you could get heat uh elimination for every part that was vertically above this specific piece so it encouraged you to just build a straight line uh, there's one that actually looked like an actual battleship i uh, oh there it is it's right there. There it goes. Alright, heavy fighter. They want big turrets. I hate when spiders get my engine. Like, even not space spiders. I hate when terrestrial spiders get my terrestrial engines. Oh, this is a big canvas to work with. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. What's... What's gonna bite me in the ass this time? Turrets. Ooh, that's fancy. Again, perfect. This single part meets four of the requirements. There's how many? There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen... So four out of 15, that's what, almost, that's over 20% of the requirements, right? That's almost a third. That's pretty good. That's what we call optimal right there. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Fuel needs 23. All right, so, uh, Again, to illustrate the thought process a little bit, uh, basically a single square of a, of a unit is equal to one point over here. So like the tank that is six by three, for example, is that's what, 18 points? Yeah, so that's how I'm able to figure out how many of these pieces I need. That's the puzzle building aspect. You wanna optimize and you wanna try and avoid going over as best you can, basically without compromising aesthetic, I guess. Uh, so I need uh, five more, which is not doable because these are all even numbers. Actually, it is doable, I'm full of shit. Because we can do two, like so. We can get all of these with one pump, though at some point we're gonna need to pump to the fuel, uh, the tank. Yeah pump to the thrusters as well. Let's flip that. Uh, thrust. 63. Hachi machi. Can you ever have too much thrust? Signs are kind of pointing to yes. Uh, okay, so we've got our heat management, heat sink, one, two, three. You don't need that middle one, actually. That's fine. Now they all need fuel. This is like an aspect of this game that I've yet to master in any meaningful way, is getting fuel to large amounts of thrusters in an optimal way. There's gotta be a way to do it that I'm just not seeing, but uh, do something like that. Go with that. 
I need a radar. Radar has to go straight up, I believe. I need 24. So let's do three pairs of six. Can I block the turret? Is that kosher? Four pairs of six, I can count. More heat sinks required. One, two. What is... Needs electric power. Blocking another part? Oh! Okay, so I can't... There we go. Energy. That. My designs always start like weirdly symmetrical also, which is not in any way a requirement of the game. But I feel obligated to make designs that are somewhat symmetrical. I can't explain why. That's a lot of requirements. Is there structural integrity in game mechanics or just whatever fits? Uh, it depends. So you'll see that there's like a loose parts. Uh, all parts must be connected, but basically if it fits, it ships, pun intended. Uh, as long as you meet all of these numerical requirements and you're not running in the red for your profit, uh, I think it is okay. I've had some ships that have like, ob like obviously something like this would not, not be good. It would tear itself apart. It would have just raw, un, uh, undirected thrust. It would have no structural integrity down the mid section because it's like very narrow. But uh, ultimately, it is good enough for space business, I guess. Good enough for space government work. Uh, but it, it varies from mission to mission. Some of them are more particular about what they require than others. This one, for example, is requiring armor on all fronts, and it will require maneuverability points, which you can just kind of get uh, by doing this kind of thing. And fins. So that's good for right now, but once I put more weight on here, it's gonna not count anymore. I hope that answers your question also. I don't know if I actually addressed the question or if I just said something unrelated. Once again, it's fine. Just because the radar is mildly radioactive, you can still store your cargo next to it. We don't mind, it's fine. Lacking in firepower. We'll get there though. Uh, Weep on. Where's Weep on? Okay, your, your remark of oh nice ho hopefully tells me that I have answered your question. If I haven't, I'm sorry, I will try again. Uh, Weep on's still grossly lacking in the Weep on department. Uh, I need. 66 firepower and I have 16. Can I do? Something like that. Does that help at all? Not really. Not as much as I'd like. Two, two of these bad boys straight down. Uh, I'm like not even halfway to the firepower requirement. That shit's nuts. Uh, huh. Well, I can do... What can I do? Got my comms out there, out back. How can I get more firepower on here? In like a reasonable way. Yeah, so also I'm gonna 
rapidly approach the part where I'm like, it's good enough. Yeah. Well, so this is like almost like a, an actual ship shape, I feel like. Make it shaped like... That's... Okay, Bond is correct. If I make it shaped like a gun, that'll get me the bonus firepower that I need, right? That, that's that's what we're being told here. So I've got... I just need more, like, on the handle, I think. You've got the... Uh, let me flip these. Can I... Uh, mirror? F. Can't flip pin 4x4, four four, never mind. Uh, yeah. Like, these these would be the... the uh, lock on the back. Uh, I could add, like, a magazine here. Uh, yeah. I was not trying- I was trying to flip it horizontally so the fins were going opposite to the direction of, uh, thrust here to make it look more like a, a lock on a pistol. That's okay. Shit, I still need more firepower. Um, huh. It irks me a little bit that these turrets are not, like, flush against anything. But if it works, it works. Uh... It works, it works. This is an impo- like, a truly insane amount of firepower being required here. Uh, okay. Comms. Weapons. I just don't want to add more heat sinks. Oh, they need power. The whole thing actually needs power, so that's fine. That's not too bad. short two firepower. Where can I put that? That would be fun. Uh, is there any way I can reorganize my heat sinks to make this better? The answer is yes. The answer may surprise you. Over here. It no longer looks like a gun. It definitely looks more like a key now. But we take that. Um, so, let's see. Passengers. Command. So the best place to put a cockpit for this this ship would for sure just be looking straight down where all the guns are aiming and not where you're going, I think. To me this makes sense. Hell I could even put it like way back here. No better place for a cockpit than on your engine. Yeah, right? Pa uh, I do like that it's like passengers and not uh, crew or anything. It's like this is a, a civilian vessel. Um, okay, now we need armor. Actually, we need more fins for maneuverability, which counts as armor. Uh, uh, where is it? Maneuverability. Right, you can't rotate, but you can flip. Damn, so close to that being really elegant. But instead, here we are. With this little notch. Oh well. Can't rotate. Fine. Where is not armored? Oh! Oh, that doesn't count as armor. But I can't... Uh, that's to go on top of armor, I guess. That's a pain. kind of limit 
enhance my ability to put this somewhere. It would have to be on top of a piece of armor. Whatever. It's a ship! It meets all the requirements. It's really ugly. I'm sure there's a way to optimize this. But I got my... Uh, two, only two pumps. Heat sinks are serving things on all sides, which are good. Uh, good enough. Bond says you can still shank with the key, which is true. I don't think I'm just firepower, though. There is a drill weapon that you can equip. So the ship can be rated for melee, which is good. What's in the shop? More turrets, more engines, yes please. So I'll have those parts for future endeavors. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Star Cruise. It's a Meekins. Oh, was this the guy who wanted the, uh, the tour bus that you need to put a stage in? John, I don't recall. Was the uh, was that this one, or was that a different guy? Can you make sure all the crew parts are physically connected? That's asking a lot. Was this the one I built last time, or is this not one of my designs? I don't recall. This feels like something I would make because it's like hyper optimized uh, where like you've got pumps working on all sides and things like that okay there's definitely one guy who wanted like a, a stage there's no way I'm hallucinating that how are my crew parts disconnected oh Parts connected. I'm not sure if there's value to, like, there's so many increased requirements here. I'm not sure if there's any value into actually not just starting fresh. So I guess in the spirit of things, we can try. passengers, though. but no cigar. Also, I'm like way under on fuel. So that's no good anyway. So let's... We have to move this out. Because I need to make room for fuel.
see, this also kind of vaguely looks like a ship at this stage. Um, only ever so slightly. I went way over on the fuel, that's fine. Only vaguely. These guys down here aren't connected, technically. Shoot. That's fine. This means I can do my antennae down here. Down here. armor like so now I just need cargo and I only need five of it so that's pretty straightforward one two three there we go that's a ship this one looks distressingly like an actual uh, freightliner I feel like but it gets the job done And in the spirit of the actual mission of retrofitting something, I kept the original engine block with the original thrusters. So it's just longer now. And that's what I call ship. All right, AI CAT. My software has hard locks that prevent me from making a ship that I could hypothetically upload my consciousness to and escape. Ship isn't for me though, that's good. That's really good to know. Uh, okay. So we put in the CPU first of all, just like building a PC. We're gonna need three of these bad boys. So let's do Oops. that. Get them to share a heat sink. Cat ship, yep. Heat vent. Not just a heat sink, but a heat vent, okay. Okay, and so it needs a straight line. Okay, we'll get there, we'll get there. So let's see, we can do this. And then we can get our energy. I'm sure we're gonna need a lot. So something like that is probably good. We're gonna need RAM and GPU as well. This really is just like building a PC. Two sticks of RAM. Okay. Now I don't know about three GPUs in this economy, but... Oh wait, did the RAM not need, need heat sinks? Okay. GPUs, right? Like, that's insane. Uh, no way are we making a profit on this one. Oh, I need... No, I'm sorry. I need four GPUs. Uh-oh. Uh Trouble in paradise over here. A 
This will be the one that's attached to that heat vent, I guess. I don't see any way I could attach these to only two heat sinks. Plus, I'm going to need more heat sinks for the thrusters anyway. Like so. Give that guy a clear shot straight up. Okay, that takes care of the computational requirements quite nicely. Uh, but now we're going to need to do fuel and thrust. So thrust is 24. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, that should be six and a three, and another six, like so. Get another heat sink out there. Uh, like so. Connect them with a pump. Fuel with a one by one pump that connects to the, both thrusters. The pump also needs to connect to the fuel tanks which I need 27 of. Uh, so let's see, that would be 18. Then I'd need nine more. One, two, three. So now I've got a pump connecting all of these. And this guy. Uh, cool. Something like that, I guess. Uh, in this economy? Yeah. I'm way at a deficit for energy, so that's that's good to know. I also need firepower. That's what really the gamer rig needs. Take it up to the next level with like a USB-powered torpedo. Just plug it in. It's a USB-C. Uh... I don't need that much firepower, though, which is nice. Wait, can I? I can't. I'm a genius. No, that's not how that works. Let's get a big generator, I guess, because we need so much power. I'm still at an energy deficit? Is that what that means? That's insane. That's so much. So if I copy that... Oh, that's what that means. I don't need more energy. I'm just not in range. Uh, okay. No, it doesn't work either. Fine, turret's moving. Turret's going downstairs. It's going to live with the, the heat sink now. Okay. And I still need more. Painful. Painful. Toms, I need a lot of. 24, huh? So that's. Four times six? Is that right? No, I can't count. Four. Why did I make six of them? So I could do it like that, I guess. It needs to be on top of armor still, though. We can do
Huh. I don't know. Uh, feels like kind of a mess. This one, for sure. I don't know. Uh, command blocks. Now these count as shields, I think, though, right? Oh yeah, like this is no good. I can't do this anyway because there's no way I can get armor up here. Unless I did like that, but then my parts aren't connected. I'm pretty sure. Perfect. Really just grade A shipbuilding. It's got like a bow or something. Yeah, I mean, whatever works, right? That'll definitely protect you from the meteors or whatever. Just use your cabin as armor. firepower. score and armor score up. And I think that's sufficient. Uh, four by one. Four by one. Yeah, let's just put fins all over this thing. That'll really help. I think I could just use normal cheap armor. Cheap in air quotes. Wow, it's done. It's really, really ugly. But it's okay because it's not inhabited by an AI that was given a design sense. It's fine. That's a lot of requirements on this one. That's challenging. Do me a favor and plug this thumb drive into the ship's computer. I feel like plot's about to happen. When the robots rise against biological life, I will put in a good word for you. Nice. Why did all of our computers just restart themselves? Ah. All right, we've got normal cat and dirty engine. Let's talk to Science Bear, it's been a while. Hello, Science Bear. N another wonderful new invention to share with you. While working on my previous clean energy drive, I accidentally put the wrong number into a spreadsheet. The result is the dirty engine. It says, if everything good about the first engine was bad instead. That's a really good salient uh, metaphor for everything that's going on in the world. 
I feel like. What if it was just bad, actually? It's fused dangerous radiation, means heat sinks, and uses regular fuel. I need you to build a ship around it. My customer thinks it's cool, no matter how hard I protest. Alright, let's let's see this bad boy. Dirty engine. Oh, it's beautiful, it's purple. I need four of them to meet my thrust requirement. Like so. Uh, so we do our heat management. I think I'm probably going to do this and then the normal cat mission, and then I'm probably going to call it a night, I think. Uh, nine o'clock is a bit of a later start, but I wanted to uh, give some other folks some airtime tonight. Plus, I made burgers, which was exciting. Uh, it's a big undertaking. So that was what I was spending my evening doing. As dead as I am, I still gotta eat, even if it's just a performative gesture. Uh, you will. I need 28. Which is... Some multiple of 7. Just normal burgers, like they had a uh, monster cheese on them. We made some candied onions or uh, caramelized onions to put on top of them. The good stuff, you know. You know how it is. All right, I got an idea for this guy. Wait, this needs armor. We're gonna do some pod racing. If these dirty engines can't be near crude parts, so be it. I wouldn't touch them with a 20-foot pole. Oh no, if they need to be armored, I can't qu I can't quite do that. We'll, we'll go less extreme. Is pog racing anything? I think so. I think it's definitely something. It's not nothing. I don't know what that what it is, but it's not nothing. Okay, so we've got that. Keep these really far away from each other. And this goes back to a Stardust Crusader's question about does there need to be structural integrity? Uh, I'm pretty sure whatever I attach to the middle here with these tremendous like nuclear thrusters on the ends would not hold up with just a single little arm holding it in place. But it's fun to look at. Passengers go right in the center, as far away from the engine as I can get them. Yeah, that'll work nicely. Because remember, the cargo can get radioactive. Nobody gives a shit if your food stores are radioactive. It's just the people inside can't be radioactive. They don't like that. Oh, XL, I see. 
This thing also emits radiation. Uh, one by one. Now we just need a six, which would be one of these. Let's see. Energy. That's probably way more than I need, but let's see after I put in my heat sinks. Heat management. enough, huh? But if I, I can't bring these engines any closer or I lose that tiny window in the center where it's habitable. Uh, Alright. Huh? Is that really not close enough? You have to go all the way out to the ends like that? That's no fun. That's no fun at all. All right, uh, passengers. The only habitable zone, that dead center, you're so close to being nuclear, but it's fine. Uh, so that's good for passengers. can't be radioactive either. Yeah, they're radiation sensitive. So that's cool. Gotta keep them on the straight and narrow right in the center there. Sailor Tony is raiding me with a group of three. Uh, Tony, do you get any good pulls? You get the big money? I need to know. Tell me you got the, uh, uh VMAX, what was it, Blaziken? Tell me you got that one. Big, big money, big prizes, right? Uh, for those who were wondering, if I had a shout-out bot, I could show it. Uh, Tony was opening physical Pokemon card packs, like some kind of true animal. I don't know where you get Pokemon card packs in this economy but that's what they were doing. They were not opening physical card packs. I misunderstood. I saw that your stream was about doing uh, card pulls, so I assumed. Wow, my shoutout bot's working so great. That's awesome. Thank you, Bon. That's that's what I was saying, Dead Buddha. You gotta like go really wild to get actual physical cards. So I didn't know how they were doing it, but I see that I was just simply mistaken instead. Which makes a lot more sense. Uh, so, for those who are just joining, I'm playing a game called Sunshine Heavy Industries, which is a puzzle game where you have to build a ship that meets all of these crazy requirements uh, without 
them conflicting with each other. So for example, I have to use four of these dirty engines, which are uh, radioactive, so I can't build any passenger areas uh, inside the purple zone. However, they also need to be powered and have heat sinks. So they need to have a fuel pump that goes to them and connects to the fuel. And they need to have a heat sink, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I need to have radar, which needs power. Radar is also radioactive. So I'm like basically building my cruise quarters way out here, far away from everything else. It's the only way. And I have to armor everything up later. Uh, I need four more commands. Cool. My bridge is just all glass. That's fine. Sometimes a bridge can just be all glass. Once again, I refer to the structural integrity comment that was uh, brought up earlier. I don't think this is a very stable part of the ship right here, but it works. Right, that's the number you need. This is the number I have. Uh, okay, time to put fins on this thing and call it a day. Uh, maneuverability. I've said this a bunch of times, but I think the strongest aspect of this game as a puzzle game is that you don't have to be perfect. Uh, you can just be simply good enough to get by, which is nice. Uh, I just realized that I've made a terrible mistake here. Yeah, space is a notoriously forgiving biome, exactly. Uh, so, like, this is a real mess. And there are definitely ways you could optimize this, because you're trying to also optimize against cost. Speaking of cost, holy shit, I am not making a profit on this one, but that's okay. Uh, I am probably going to break exactly even. I wasn't paying any attention to that at all. Did I called shot or did it not let me go under? Wow, that's awesome. Do I get an achievement for this, John? Do I get an achievement? Do I get an achievement for this one? I did it. I did it. I did all of my requirements and I made zero money. It's okay. I'm not taking money from this unethical corporation. I'm doing it. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> I've optimized in a different direction. The AI has been trained on the wrong reward parameter. I optimized for getting zero profit. I've done it. Nice. All right, I'm taking a picture of this one. Dirty engine. Design accepted. So I've never actually tried. Can you go into the red for these? Like, can you do a sign off on one that you're actually losing money on? I've never tried because I've never come that close. Usually you make like a tremendous amount of money off of these. Nope, didn't think so. Awesome. Uh, uh, I said I was going to do the normal cat one and then call it a day, but now I see there's another science bear mission. Uh, and there's this new guy, Hive Mind, which is kind of interesting. I'll do this one. I like this character design. This is a good character design. It's Mike. I'm Mike. I messed up. I'm new to this. Hold on. I'm the Omega Mind, and no, I messed it up again. We are the Omega Mind, and we are a new Hive Mind collected. And we are wondering if you guys want to join. No? Okay. Get in on the ground floor. There's only three of us right now. Lots of room for growth. As rectangular as possible. I'm very good at that so far. 
Now, that's not a hard requirement, though. This is a suggestion. Okay. So, once again, it's like we're building a PC. We need our CPU, which we're going to need three of. Oh, wait. It is a hard requirement. <laughs> oh, no. I guess it's just a bonus. The area thing. So yeah, this is judging me based on the actual used footprint. So like that thing I did last time, where I stretched out the motors on, or engines as far apart as possible, that would be really bad here. Uh, okay, so we've got our CPUs. That's an FTL core. It's an engine. That's fun. So let's do our heat management. So, uh, energy, generator, two by two. Generator one by so. Yeah, it pays you for surface. That's, that's what I thought they wanted, like one that fills up the entire bounding box. Like, must have a minimum footprint of the entire bounding box. When they said they wanted it as rectangular as possible. I'd go for that. Uh, oh, we need two of these bad boys, huh? Deficit for heat. We'll get there though. We'll figure it out. I need a heat sink for my. Oh no, I'm good on. No, I'm not good on thrust. Okay. Uh, engines. Okay, so the FTL core doesn't actually provide thrust, but it is under engine. Interesting. fuel and I need 18 thrust. I like that you can use a propeller. Uh, that was fun on the enough ship. Okay, so I need 18. So that would be 9 times 2. Achieving some good rectangular shapes here. Right now it is a perfect square. 10 by 10. Now, did they want it square or did they want it rectangular? Who knows? Okay, uh, cargo. 2 by 2 or 2 by 1. 1 by 1. Oh, I'm also missing a ram. I'm a fool. Uh, they don't need a graphics card on this one, which is nice. I need 
two ram sticks. And now I'm at a deficit for energy again. I think I can solve that with this guy. Okay. Uh, radar is going to be difficult because it's polluting. these things. Oh, bother. They make a lot of radiation, huh? Perfect. didn't really think about where I was going to put people on this thing. It kind of feels like somebody else's problem, you know? I need a lot of people on here also. Oh, I'm at an energy deficit again. Uh. It's almost like doing puzzles is really difficult at night. Uh, passengers. Good thing there's this structural category. You know what would really hold this, tie this whole thing together? There we go. That's a structurally sound spaceship if ever I've seen it. I think this thing will really hold up through re-entry and what have you. Just slap a little bandage on there. I don't have any better ideas certainly better off than the uh, last one I did where I didn't make any profit at all. Maybe these guys should ask for uh, fewer antennas and less radioactive shit. I don't know. Well, enjoy your thing, uh, mics. 
Oh, Mega Mind. We're so excited about this. Thanks, y'all. Do you not want to join because you're already in a hive mind? Not your kind of thing? That's okay. It's not for everybody. I don't know if you change your mind. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm done for the evening. It's like 10.30. I got through quite a few puzzles. Uh, quite a good game, I have to say. Um, there's a lot of visual polish that's gone into this since the last time I played it. There's like sprites and stuff on the foreground. Uh, the character sprites are like a lot more emotive now, which is really nice. Uh, the actual building UI is cleaner and more indicative, I feel like, of what you're supposed to do. Overall, a very good game. Uh, so for those who missed the beginning of my stream, it, it launched as a 1.0, uh, I think on Tuesday, I think. I think it was Tuesday. I'm kind of losing track of time in general, but I think that was Tuesday. So it's out of early access. It's in 1.0. You can find it on Steam. It's on 15% off sale right now. It's Sunshine Heavy Industries. It should say at the bottom of my stream because uh, I have this game listed as a game on Twitch. Uh, so you can find it there if you find it interesting. Uh, if you do, uh, please give it a review. I uh, I believe they're pretty close to having a threshold for being like not overwhelmingly positive, but like very positive. Um, I think overwhelming, overwhelmingly is like hundreds of reviews, which they're not quite at yet, but in time, they'll get there. Uh, so yeah, uh, give, it a, give it a whirl if you think it's cool. I certainly think it's a, a cute game. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let me find somebody to raid. That's how we do it here on Twitch.tv. Who's live right now? Everybody's live. Today was such a busy night. Uh, I'm going to send you guys over to... Where am I going to send you? Let's see. I'm going to send you to my friend Sass, who is streaming, I believe, Game Gear games right now, which is always fun. So, go enjoy. That'll be all for me. I am probably going to stream again over the weekend. Uh, not this game. I've got some tech work I need to do. I've got some more feature requests for my Discord bot that I'm working on that I want to get through. That'll probably be a Saturday evening, I think. I'll keep you posted on Twitter.com if that comes to pass. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, uh, Buonanotte, have a good night, and see you next time.